So, I know what you're thinking, if we were good parents, we'd get them to shut the lights off. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to show you how to replace a standard light switch with basically a motion sensor switch. So, why are we doing this? Um, you're responsible teenagers, that's why we're doing this. Um, basically, I'm sick and tired of telling them to turn their lights off, they leave, they always leave all the lights on the house, our electric bills through the roof. We did LED lights, we're trying to fi find ways to save money, and one way to do it is we're gonna automatically shut their lights off. So after 30 seconds a minute, five minutes, depending on where the location is, um, we install these motion sensor switches and it'll automatically shut the lights off in the room once it detects no motion in the room and uh, the time lapses. So that's really what this is. So. I ordered these on Amazon. You can get a six pack of these for about $70, $68 or so. Um, and really, they're pretty, they look pretty easy to install. They have low noise and high sensitivity for people walking in the room, so it's good. Um, it's all, also, it's kind of nice because it's hands free. So if you walk in the room, do what you need to do, walk out of the room, light shuts off behind you. So that's what we're doing today. So a couple things about this one. So if you read the instructions on this, there's a couple things. It's basically uses um, infrared technology. So uh, it uses that to detect and sense if somebody's in the room. So I'm just gonna make sure I get the exact terminology so you guys aren't. It's passive infrared occupancy sensor. That's what this is. So, um, and you know, basically they give you a bunch of directions on how to do it and things like that, but um, basically there's a red LED light and uh, when you're in the room, the sensor blinks upon occupancy and then it resets itself. So it's really kind of a neat little functionality and feature. So let me show you the switch. So before we went to this drastic step of replacing switches, we tried taking light bulbs out one at a time and making it darker and darker. Still didn't work. In fact, that light just burned out and here we are again. So this is what the switch looks like. I really like it. It's clean, it's concise. Um, it has a button if you want to manually push it, you can hear it clicking. That will turn it on if you just want to do that. Um, but then, if I pull this little lid off it here, let me just show you guys. Pull it off. That's what it has for options. 30 seconds, minute, 5 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes. And then it has, you know, you can do dimming if you want. That's where you have different lighting options. But we're just turning the light on so we don't, you know, whatever. That doesn't matter for us. And then it has sensitivity. So it determines the range of when this sensor picks up. Well, we want the full range, right? You get in the room, we want the full range to, to tell us and, and turn the light on for us. So here's what we have. You need a ground wire. So pretty, pretty typical in newer houses that that's just a plain copper wire coming from your wall. We'll show you when we take this one out. You have your, basically your hot wire, typically black. A lot of your wires in your house are gonna be black. Um, and generally you have a, another white neutral um, in your wall as well. But then you also, because you have a switch, you have your traveler. So really, those are the three wires you have to deal with. Now, you could go through and test each of the wires and determine which one's hot and that sort of thing in the traveler. Um, but what I've determined with these things, and I've done it wrong several times now, is that if you accidentally switched your red and your black, so when we open this up, you're gonna see there's two wires on your switch one that goes in and then of course you have your switch and then the one that travels. Um, if you switch them by accident or they're wrong in the wall, the light won't work. So you can shut the light back, you know, shut the power back off, switch the red and the black, turn the power back on and you're good to go. So this is really easy. It's pretty foolproof that you can get this done yourself. Um, so let me show you how to do it. So I know what you're thinking, if we were good parents, we'd get them to shut the lights off. Uh, but clearly we're not because we're tired of yelling at them about it, so I guess we're bad parents, and we're making them lazier. But by the time they get old enough that they have to worry about shutting off their own lights, they'll be paying their own bills. So either they'll install motion switches or something like that, or they'll just pay the hefty power bill that we pay right now. So step one, I just took the, the plate switch off, and so that's really, just took this thing out. You know, two little screws, easy flathead screwdriver, no big deal. Second thing is, pulled the switch out, right? And so you can see with ours, you know, some of these are really easy to see, right? So you have your general plain copper wire, that's gonna be your ground, it always goes to your switch like that. Then you, you have your two wires that are on top and bottom. So you have power and you have traveler. And so basically, you know, so far I've never gotten this right. I thought it was 
power came up from uh, the bottom to start with, and the traveler with that would that's red was the top one. It's been different every single switch I've done so far, and this will be the fifth one. So pretty much, you know, it's a guesser's game for at least my house. And a quick thing I do, these wires coming from the house are pretty uh, pretty rigid. So unless you got super strong fingers and hands, um, I, I like to use a needle nose pliers just to straighten them out because you're gonna wanna use wire nuts on these to keep the wires straight. So there you go, straighten my, my ground out. And then I'll take my other two out. So there's two things with these. Uh, learn this the hard way too. Um, two wires, right? So some of the newer switches have this thing where you shove a screwdriver in here. You got to get a flathead that's small enough. You shove it in there, and if you get it in there deep enough, it'll release the wire and it'll just pull out the back. So that's the see there you go, boom that one's out. So that's been my top. That would have been my yes my top wire. So then you got to pull it back out and do the same thing with this one. See otherwise they're in there tight. They snap in there. Sometimes they put them around the screw the tips as well. Um, if they do that, you just have to loosen them, straighten them. So, just got to get that screwdriver shoved in there real good. There we go. And as soon as you kind of click it, you can feel it. And then it just should just pull straight out. There we go. And your switch is out. So that's it for that. Go. Okay, ground wires first. You're going to want to basically twist the wires together. And you want to twist them in the direction that you're gonna, your, your caps are going to go on, right? So, which is going to be clockwise. So, you do that, make sure they're twisted really good. Boom. Check them, make sure they don't pull out. That's caps, that's number one. So, number two, we're going to take our shot here. I don't, you could test these two. This would be a lot easier if you just tested the wires. I'm sure you could do that, but um, you know what, I'm not doing that. So, again, same thing. Twist them in there nice and good. And I'm using wire nuts that came with the light. So these actually, they give you three, one for each one. So that's the second one. Twist until they're good. Boom, done. So that's really your basic wiring of it. So before I actually test this out, it's like, so I'm not gonna push this back in yet. I'm gonna go and turn my power back on. I'm gonna see if the light comes on. If the light comes on, everything works. I'll shut the power off, I'll tape things up. You don't have, I, electricians generally don't tape those things, they just wire nut them. But uh, I like to just to hold them in a little tighter. Um, so I do it, I think it gives it a little bit more security, so I do that. So let me hit the power and we'll see where we're at. Okay, so miracles do happen. I got the, the traveler in the, in the hot wire. Um, I guess the right ones, yay for me. So anyways, okay, that's it. So I'm gonna basically tape up these. So I use a little electrical tape on each one. Just hold it in there. Again, this is not something that you see electricians do, um, but I'm not an electrician. So um, if you are, I'm sure it'll be like, oh, you should test every wire before you do everything. Yes, absolutely. Uh, but if you are just a do-it-yourselfer like I am, uh, this, is how it's, this is how I do it. And so um, I'm gonna tape these up real quick. I'm gonna put everything back into the wall and then I'll show you the last steps of just kind of setting things up. Okay, in this particular brand, what makes it kind of nice is the light switch itself. You know, let me just grab that. No screws exposed. So it kind of makes it look a lot more slick. So but what it does do then is you have to put this thing in there and it says this side out, right? And you have to make sure that where it snaps in, which is the bottom here, that you want on the bottom. So it looks, you don't see anything from the top. This goes there and this goes there. Then you want to make sure all your settings are then set. So I want it to be on 30 seconds because I'm not giving them any more time. I put the sensor all the way up, so the sensor's up, and then um, I want it to be full light. So to get those things to turn, they, they actually turn very easy, but they don't line up exactly where you think they should. So you just got to be careful when you do it that you, you're in the right spot. Then this piece really, this is why I hate our builder, because every hole that they cut was over, was too big. But then, oh, let me do this first. Then you can put your little light thing back on. Right, so 
This is just a snapping piece that hides all the ugliness of the se your selections, right? Then the, the two notches in this thing, like there, are going to go on the bottom. So, oh, now I hit the light switch, but it's okay. And it just snaps in. So and then, if you ever want to take it off, yeah, you can see they, of course, didn't do a good job there, so I'll have to patch that up. Good job, builder. Now this is what, what you get is oversized holes with gigantic plates over it, covering up their mistakes. So now I'll have to get a little putty in there, patch it up. But now, if somebody comes in here, they can hit the button, or they can just have it shut off with the timer. So and you can see when you actually when you walk in, when it comes in the first time, you'll see that. This shines in, uh, in a red LED. So, pretty cool. So now I, my daughter, this is my daughter's bathroom. She doesn't shut off anything. Um, now when she comes on in and walks in the bathroom, she doesn't have to hit the light switch anymore. It's all sensor driven. So if you'll see, you'll, I think you'll actually see the red light up. When I walk in, probably, I don't know if you can see that, that it lit, it lit up for a second. And then now it'll stay on for 30 seconds. And when I leave, and if you come up to 30 from this point, and there's no movement and the light itself will shut off on its own. So while I'm wrapping the video here, you'll see it shut off. So that's it. Um, these are motion light sensors. They're easy to install. You just saw how I installed it. Six pack of them is about 70 bucks, which is kind of nice. I'm installing them in all the closets, the pantry downstairs, the laundry room, pretty much every room that someone walks in and forgets to shut the light off, but they're just in there for a few seconds. So they get what they need, boom, and the light comes off. And then when they decide they're going to walk in, it goes back on. So that's it. Subscribe to my channel. I'll put a link in the description below uh, to where we bought these on Amazon. We also have a couple other things, some smart home things that we're, we're, we'll show you as well. So I bought a couple of light switch things that really work well on an app on your phone. You can set timers. So I'll send you some other things too as well that you can make your home a little bit smarter as well as a little bit safer. You know, when you're gone, you know, some of these smart home things are pretty slick. So that's it. Subscribe. We'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.